Hello everybody, Natemo here. Today I'm going to be going over a quick video on how I made this avatar for my channel. Um, it's pretty easy, but it requires a little bit of knowledge on GIMP, and uh, I figure that it could help. So I'm just going to take a skin that I made a while back, and I'm going to convert it into that style of avatar. So the first thing you want to do is download your skin, and copy the, I guess, face. Those 8x8 eight eight section right there. Copy that, image, uh, or file, new, make it exactly 8 pixels by 8 pixels. Okay. Paste it, and there you go. You're going to want to right-click it and say to new layer, delete this layer back here. Alright, now take this here. This is the hat layer. Grab the face of that. Go here and paste it. Also make that be a new layer. So you're going to want to hide the hat layer. Rectangle select the face here. Hit Command X. Make a new layer. Put it beneath that hair. Hit Command V. And click Anchor. So now you should have three layers. The hat, the hair, and the face. You can add more if you want, but that's all the shading I really want to put on this. Alright, it's time to scale up your image. Um, click Scale, wrap it up to, I do about a thousand, just because it's very high res, and it means I can use it for more than just an avatar. There we go. All good. Now you're going to want to find where the shadows lie on the face. So select the face layer. Or make a new one, for that matter. Just make a new layer. Click your paintbrush tool. Get a pretty big brush. And give it a, um... Give it a pretty soft edge. Now set the color to black. And the opacity to somewhere around 60%. Now you're able to color in the shading. And make it appear to be a little more 3D which is the goal with this style of avatar. So I'm just going to color around. Like so. You could choose to do or not to do the eyes. I'm choosing to do them. Now I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to do this, uh, this hair section right here. I'm going to find out where the shadows lie on this. So it would appear that they just lie here. So I'm just going to take my paintbrush out on this new layer I've created, and I'm just going to shade that in a little bit. Um, nope, not the opacity, I want it just the size. Now, you can make all your layers visible again. And you should have a fairly 3D looking face. All right. Thank you for watching. This is Nate Mo. I will see you guys later.